All right, here it is. Mike, I'm out here. Water pump. And OptiSpark, I think it's time. I really don't have any more options. I can hear the OptiSpark skipping around. I don't want to do this job, but I have to. It's been put off for long enough. All right, since I got the car, I got this big bucket under here because it does leak a lot. Let me just analyze this for a second. First, I'm gonna get this water pump off first. I'm gonna drain this coolant out. We're doing it in real time, y'all. So uh, if you want the fast videos, you're gonna have to go check out some other people's. They'll do it for you real quick. I'm gonna show you what the real time is like. That means I'm gonna have to go gather tools all that oh and I'm about to charge a GoPro and all that because I know it's gonna become not charging somehow this uh, Sun is beaming right into my face down here there it is I knew it had one there's a pet cock on this side drain oh it was ready to go. All right, so I don't know if I could get it to open more than that. I feel like I should be able to pop the whole thing out. I can't really see anything. That's weird. There it goes. Oh, it is. All right, fun times. Oh, let's get out of here before we get super soaked. All right, probably not the best looking coolant in the world. I don't, don't know if I've ever even changed it before. <clears throat> this already took, you know, unscrew that, pop it out. I got the Camaro one, so it's just for looks. All right, I'm gonna just put all this over here. I'm gonna get this out of the way next. Disconnect that, that guy. You can disconnect everything that's going to this. You might be able to just slide it off to the side. So I'm gonna take it off from right here because this I have all zip tied down so it won't move. Well, it just did. It wasn't supposed to move like that. All right. Take this one off. And we'll take this one off. This whole piece should come off together. I'm gonna take this out right there. Like I said, you probably could just like lean it off to the side. I'm gonna just get it out of my way if I can. There's that. Don't think I need to get that out of the way. If I do, I'll move it. All right, we're getting down to it already. My favorite type of clamps there. I'm not being serious. All right, might as well just take off this water pump. Um, coolant temp sensor, sender, one of them. All right. I'm gonna disconnect this just because I feel like it's kind of in my way at the moment. Now I'm missing the air. There's a bracket down here for the air intake that goes right there. I don't have that. This car is a 1979 Caprice. It's got a 95 motor in it. I'm gonna make sure though because I'm gonna check and see what the splines are looking like on the OptiSpark. All right. Someone said to get the fans working because my fans are having problems. I might need to bleed bleed the water pump. This is a bleeder screw right here. I'm just gonna open it up for fun. All right, now 
let's grab this these hoses off I'm gonna get this one off first I grab a bigger one of these. I thought this was going to be needed for the bottom drain. I do not like these. I need a bigger one of these. Some channel locks. Alright. Let's get down dirty on this bad boy now. Not my favorite. Oh, there it goes. We kind of missed. That usually happens. Especially when the bucket's not positioned correctly. We're just gonna try to collect it. Some drops will get through. This is a good time to change your hoses if you want to. You guys might know me. I'm I'm contemplating even changing the water pump. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding, but oh yeah. These I hate these things. I guess they work and I guess they're easy. But not my favorite. Whoa, nasty. Look at all that rust came out. Is that from in there? Is that from in there? All right, it's all, all this stuff is about time for it to get changed. We're just gonna do a little bit at a time so I don't get stressed out about it. All right, this one's probably gonna go leaking like crazy on me. Yeah, these hoses, I like to try to spin them. <clears throat> I'm trying to move this thing off, but it kind of just wants to hang out there. You know, put the. Be careful when you do it like this sometimes, you know. Don't aim it towards your face. Yeah, I know I need to get that out of the way. Real time, you know, I'm telling you, real life. It's not pretty. There it goes. I like to try to spin it if I can. All right, so I feel like my radiator, <coughs> excuse me y'all, got me bend over here and coughing up stuff, I guess. All right, there didn't appear to be too much water in there, which is uh, not really all that good. Maybe that's why my fans weren't coming on. Who knows? Don't quote that. My heater's not hooked up, so I got some loop-de-loop -loop stuff going on here. Out. Good time to change the hoses. Maybe I will, I don't know. Let's see, I gotta check out the condition of them first. These little ones I can. Little ones I can check out. I mean, I could change because I probably got a bunch of them. They feel kind of nasty. We'll deal with that next. <laughs> Oh, wow. That's why I got the big bucket under here. One of these is gonna let off too. I think it's, I think it's this one down here. I can't remember for sure. I don't think I even need to, probably don't even need to move this coil. 
this would just get out of the way and stay out of the way. It keeps wanting to bounce back on me. That's not what I want. I'm not gonna get out of here. All right. Now we're down to the water pump. That was, see, that was fast. No problem, right? And then I'll deal with this. I'll take, I'm gonna have to take this off and take this sensor out. And <coughs> that looks like a 15 maybe. Oh yeah, you get to watch me look for the tools and everything. All right, I'm gonna try. It's not a 13, but I'm gonna try it anyway. It could be. Of course, finding the tools is the longest part of the whole job. That might be a 14 or a 916, huh? That extension's too long. There's a 15 that we're gonna try for fun, but it's probably a 14. That'll be the missing in action. No, that's a, I think 15 will work. I mean, I think that's what actually what it is. We'll try to make sure though. Half. Now comes the part where I pull out like 10 halves in a row. 12 or 12, 12 and a half. They, you know, they're like the same. Another half, you've seen it. 9 sixteenths, that's like a 14. We'll just see if it fits. Yeah, it does, that's what we want. You might want a 14, you might want a 916. I want the first one that I get that actually works. You might want a bigger ratchet. Or it might just come. That didn't feel like it was 30 foot pounds of torque. Maybe it is, I don't know. I'm not an expert. What, Mike, you're not an expert? Hell no. I think there's four of these bolts. There might be six, so. One of these I know leaks, so like all the coolant's gonna come out. I think, I mean, definitely it's this one on the right side. I think it's the bottom one. Let's give it a try. These wires, of course, are in my way. Well, I'm glad it's not a Corvette at least. Or a Trans Am, I know I have like no right to complain because um, those ones are bad. There's no room to move in there. So I will try not to complain, y'all. Oh, look at that. There it goes. I knew one of them leaked. That water looks like exactly like it sounds right now. <coughs> All right. Well, I guess we got, I keep leaning on my emblem, hopefully. Don't break it and I think these water pump bolts are the same size I'll try to keep them in the right place so this water pump is pretty oily and nasty it's gonna be bad behind it See, the two bottom bolts are the same length. All right, good. Just put them on opposite sides for now. So we're gonna do this real time because other people already got this video down. Like if you wanna watch someone do this, I think uh, there's a bunch of people, but the one I saw was Michigan Shooter. He did a pretty good job. 
I like when he took the break for the beer. Definitely might have a break or two going on here. I'm not gonna do all this job at once. I have to order a water pump and I have to order the timing cover gasket kit because that includes the water pump not the water pump that includes the optispark o-rings and the seals for the water pump on the back and uh, all that a couple seals i feel like there might be why did I feel like there were six on here for some reason? Oh yeah, there's one back there. Uh oh, I need the deep. Yep, and I think there's one back. That's why I felt like there were six, because I think there are. That one? I think that one. Yeah, there's one back there. So, I mean, I watch people's videos and all that, but I've done this job before. And so, I wasn't really paying attention like that. I was kind of skipping through just to familiarize myself with what I was about to be facing and if I really wanted to do it or not. I don't, but I do. The part that's hard is not taking it apart. It's putting it back together but that's not hard but my problem is that Optus spark is I'm gonna have to that Optus spark I'm gonna just have to put piece one together or you really got to pay for it so I'm gonna disconnect that right now just to get that out of my way <coughs> all right I need a deep socket 14 or a half, I mean a uh, 9 16. All right, here we go again. All the whole video, Mike was looking for the tool. If you have better organization or you're just lucky, there's a 14. There's a plan. The plan. All right, here we go. Now we got a 14 deep socket. That should get me on there. Yep. I think it actually might, I don't know. There's a lot of grease on there, so I can't really call it, but, and most of these things I feel like are metric, but I mean, GMs, they're like interchange. So 14 and 916 is pretty much the same, but I feel like the 916 was fitting a little better. But like I said, these things are pretty greased out. This is the little one right here. You know, good fellas. It was some real grease ball ish. Feel me? All right. Yeah, it's like I'm stuck now. Get out of there. Nasty. We're gonna have to clean that up. We're gonna clean all those up on the wire brush. Cause I don't have anything else to do while this car is gonna be down. I mean, I have plenty to do, but oh look, it's gonna pop. You missed the bucket. It's gonna pop right off for me, isn't it? Wow. Aren't you friendly? Don't lose that piece right there. I, th I believe it comes off. So I'm gonna try not to lose it. I'll probably have some laying around somewhere. You don't lose that bolt either. There's a bolt still stuck in the side. There's a water pump. That didn't take too long. Psh, didn't take long at all. Oh, get water on yourself, why don't you? All right, thanks. It's a nice hot day. Guess I will. I'm gonna take that out. And I'm gonna take this thermostat housing off. Time to change the thermostat as well. If you're not like totally cheap like I am. All right, the next step here is, I wanna just analyze what's going on. All right, I guess we get these, all this extra stuff could get out of my way for a second. Make sure you clean up the coolant. 
if you got animals around or if an animal comes around. I'm gonna make sure that I clean it up so that the cat doesn't drink it. It smells sweet and things are attracted to it. So make sure you get rid of that, y'all. All right. Next, I have to, I don't have to do this right now, but I guess I will. These, that looks corroded. That didn't even look like, it didn't even look like it was on there all the way. Or it looks like it just broke, one of the two. That's very interesting. All right, I don't know if you guys can see. And here is like all corrosion. We will have to investigate that in the future. I think I need some new plug wires. Do you think, Mike? Yeah, maybe. All right, so I'm gonna get a white out. I'm gonna let this dry for a second. I'm gonna get a white out and mark all these before I take them off. And I guess I could I might spray this down with like carb clean or something. And I think I'm gonna loosen this balancer. I'm probably gonna have to get a pulley out to pull that off. I probably wanna loosen this first while the belt is still on there. Once I get these bolts loose, I can release the tension on this tensioner here and take this belt off and if you don't know how it goes on make sure you remember or have one of these right here and get it all greasy all right this right here i believe is a is it a 15 or is it a 14 or am i wrong oh it's bigger than a 15 16 there's one in here, maybe that's why. I probably was like, had one for pick and pull. Yep, 16, I think we're gonna get the big ratchet out. Hopefully I can find one. That is the problem usually, which we have already established, is finding a ratchet. I might get the breaker bar out. But we'll see, hopefully, I don't need it. Oh, man. So the motor's like trying to spin on me. Let's see if I can just hit it real quick. Sometimes you can hit it real quick and they'll break loose. I don't think I could fit my gun in there and I don't think it would even. If you have a door stop, you can like wedge it in there. That's a beautiful way to do it. Probably could put something else in there too. Or you could zip it off with a air ratchet, probably. Or you can, I don't want to put a, if I was in pick and pull, I'd put a screwdriver through there and jam it up. You can put a chain, you could put a chain around this and the sway bar. Hmm. I don't think my air ratchet will fit in there. <clears throat> this, where is it? Where'd it go? Um, hmm. All right, let's try the, oh, there's an air ratchet right there. That should break it free if I can fit it in here. I'm gonna to turn the compressor on. Yeah. I think that'll get in there. I'm trying to work easy, y'all. I'm at home, so 
I mean, I swear I keep running into that. I might just be, this might be part of the job on my car is to remove this because like I keep running into it. As much as I'm gonna have to do this right here, I, I'm gonna remove my emblem because that's just getting in my way too much. I never ran into an emblem that many times. Good thing it's not one of those other ones that takes like forever to get off. Sometimes they have like a another screw on there. All right. <clears throat> well, at least we got the water pump off. All right, now here we go. Now I can put that there. Oh, I guess I got to start the... That sounds like the plan. This goes real fast. You know, this will spin so fast. You have no choice but to pull it off instantly. So I think that's what I'm going to try to do. So there it is, step one, right? We got the water pump off. We're down to the OptiSpark. Old oh, nasty. It looks like an original one. I am gonna spray it off first. I feel like that definitely must have oil in it. That's the problem with them. They get oil and they get water in them. And that's why, just from the placement of where it's at. <coughs> All right, I'm gonna go turn the air compressor on and I'll be back. All right. The air compressor's on. I already got one bolt out because I was checking to see. But here it is. Pretty easy. There's number two. There's number three. Hey, make it easy on yourself. All right, let me go turn this off now. All right. Too bad I don't have that in pick and pull. That'd be nice. Oh, that's, oh wow. I'm gonna get lucky and my harmonic, my balancer's just gonna come off on its own. Now that's luck. That's the Caprice gods and angels shining down on me. Shining down on me. I did not wanna have to get the puller out. Oh man, that was rough. Not a 13 on that, I guess. All right, we're learning here. Let's go with 12 for the 12, too small. What's between that, a 12 and a 13 and a half? Mm, maybe, I don't know. Well, that loosened. That's not what we're looking for. Oh, I went the wrong way. So I accidentally loosened the tensioner so that 13 probably did work that's why it slipped all right let's get this belt out of the way it's a good time to change the belt and we will inspect that belt and i think that belt is going to be fine but it's a good time to do it while you're there all right watch this that's how you get, this is how you get a harmonic balance for all oh. oh wait it's like seizing up on me, y'all. No. It was coming, it still is. I'm just gonna wiggle it off. That usually doesn't happen. Oh, let me mark it. Oop. All right, I'm back. Got this pin right here. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. I mean, it, if it, if this worked, then this is what, this will work for you, but Will this actual pen work? Yeah, it does. All right, so we're just gonna mark it. It's probably gonna come off. But that's what you're supposed to do right there. All right, mark it so you know where to put it back on. But I'm gonna clean up, so I'll probably end up taking the mark off by accident with like some brake clean or something. There it is. Good enough. I probably will clean that. It's pretty nasty. But we'll try. I just wanted to 
for the people with a clean car that might just put their just take it off and put it back on all right wow we're down to the OptiSpark, and we got to use that paint we use this marker again this one i'm gonna mark one two three and four on both sides these are like stuck where they're at so Be shaking up, it's a little bit watery. All right, oh man, that's watery. It didn't really help. Maybe it's a, maybe it's oil, so we'll clean off those a little bit. That's just a nasty pen. Probably not the best. Definitely not. All right, just like that. That one got a little exclamation mark. horrible hopefully that give us some type of idea and it doesn't wear away maybe you have better white out I hope so all right now we're down to the nitty-gritty we need a reverse is that that funny torques I think it's like a T I mean, I think it's like a, re, a E8 or, I mean, an E5 or E4 or something. That's what I wanted. Drop the bolt in there. And the sun's in my eye and I got coolant in my eye. Good. So, you can put <coughs> the pet cock back into the radiator i will in a second i'm just looking for this other bolt for the also there's this uh there's this valve on the i mean uh there's like a, a vacuum line going to the bottom of this OptiSpark. There's a couple lines going down there. We will investigate that. I'm looking for the, there's one bolt right there. I believe that's one bolt. <clears throat> there's three, I think. We will find out shortly. Oh yeah, there's that one. Mm -hmm. And then there's that one. Yeah, three. Let's disconnect this. And I broke it, of course. It was gonna happen. I think I have another one of those, actually. That's pretty nasty. So, watch out for that tab on the back. That's a common occurrence, like, this is get brittle. I tried not to break it, but it broke. All right, so we need a, uh, looks like a 10. This might be a good time for the hand uh, impact wrench. I wanna see, is that really a 10? That's moving too, run too much to be a 10, I think. That's moving too much. I tend to get it off, but I don't think that's what it is. Maybe these cars are standard. Alright, let's see. Now it's gonna be all tens is all we find. Never can I find a 10. There's another one. Another one. Oh a nine. That's what I was looking for. I think 
think that'll work. If not, we know it's a standard. And where is that little wrench? I just saw it, I know I did. Always the same, always the same thing. There it is. Got the cheapest seven millimeter on it ever. All right, let's see if this nine goes. Nope, it's an in-between. It's a 7 16 or something. It's not an 8, I can tell you that. It's not another 8, I can tell you that probably was the same one. I could just use that 10 and it would get it off, but I'm trying to do this correctly. There's a 7 16 Whoa, five sixteenths, you tricked me. Seven millimeter, not gonna work. All right, that's enough of that. Let's try to grab one of these. Probably not a seven sixteenths, it's littler than that. Three eighths, or that's the wrong size, who knows. Nah, see? Where the three eighths is, there's a five sixteenths. That's the game right there. All right, here we go, three eighths. Let's do it. I think that's it. Yeah, it is. You could use a 10, I guess if you had to, but the three eighths fits way better. I'm not trying to strip anything or break anything. I most likely will, so I'm trying to not do it as much as possible. All right, I could have got the I could have got the impact wrench out and make this a slightly a bit quicker, but it would have taken longer to find it. I should have a magnetic catcher for the tools, but I think it's indisposed at the moment. All right. Oh man, I really should. I'll just put these down here for right now. It smells like oil in here, y'all. Something has got oil all over it. I'm gonna spray this motor down with some carb clean or something. This should, this should pull this off. Let me take all these spark plug wires off. I don't know if I should do it now or not. I feel like that's where I'm gonna come. That's where I'm gonna get cut at. Which side wants to come off? That side? There's two. Well, imagine trying to change these spark plug wires without taking this off. I, I think that these ones on this side are original and these ones over here have been replaced. That would make sense. It's time to change them, I think. All right. Here's where I want to pay attention. Whoa. There's no O-rings left. And that's my problem. Or someone put this in with no O-rings. Not good. All right, well, we're finding problems here. This, well, you see it's got these ugh, very nasty. <clears throat> gonna have to <clears throat> get the my, maybe might need a needle nose or something all right this one wow that's nasty we're gonna all the way investigate this every one of these wires to see if it's still holding up that looks pretty bad there's two vents down here. This is to get the oil out. Or actually, no, not, excuse me. It's to get the gas. Like on these earlier model OptiSparks, they're, they didn't have vents. And on the Camaros and Firebirds, and probably even on these, like they get so hot. It was like gases was forming in there and it was, that's what was also killing a lot of the early 
OptiSparks, like a 90, a 93, a 92, a 93, a 94. They're like gear driven. Man, these things are on there. Oh, I knew I, <laughs> I hate that. I broke it. I mean, definitely try to pull from up top. I was going to get some new wires anyway. I'm pretty sure that these are so greasy. There goes that one. Now at least this is off. I guess I can pull this off on its own time. Well, I guess I solidified my new wire purchases now. I feel like these are already mismatched. You know, you can slide it back in probably. And I will just for right now, just to make me feel happier like I didn't break anything. If you're gonna reuse your wire, so please pull from the boot, don't pull from the wire. Because you'll break it just like I did right there. So let's get these out of the way. Now we can see what we're working with. This comes off, so don't lose that. Wow. This has no oil. This has no O-rings on it. So you can see, like, you're getting oil all day. It's coming through there. It was spinning. It was spinning around. And that's why the front of my water pump is so dirty. There's the only way you're going to get that much oil on there. The broke ass person in me wants to, I mean, I'm not really broke, but I'm saying the cheap person in me wants to just slap, <laughs> slap some O-rings on this thing and throw it back in. I shouldn't do that though. So it actually, that is not looking that bad actually. I mean, it is, but I feel like the majority, I feel like I know where the majority of the oil was coming from, and that's these missing O-rings. I wonder if they disintegrated or if someone, this is an original OptiSpark, so they must have just disintegrated. I'm going to clean this up before I take it apart. I'm going to get it as shining as I can. I might have to reuse part of it or all of it because these are unfriendly right here to replace you want to keep your stock OptiSpark or else you might throw your timing off this car runs perfectly except for the OptiSpark so I definitely want to keep this base unit because this is it knows this it knows this car I've watched videos and people replace them with cheap ones and then the timings off and there's like no way to adjust it all right, so you want to keep your original base if you can. You might want to get a new cap and rotor and stuff like that. And I'm going to investigate the insides. Man, that thing is nasty. But I'm feeling pretty good about all my parts here. I like how that just came off. If I want to do this correctly, I'm going to get a new water pump. I'm going to get some new plug wires. I should probably get these seals, that one and that one. But it's definitely just that one was definitely leaking. I hope like, I don't know, hopefully those, uh, hopefully the O-rings aren't like in there or something. I'm gonna investigate that in a little bit. Maybe right now. No, it doesn't look like anything's coming out. Someone either didn't put them back together or they completely disintegrated. I'll probably guess they completely disintegrated. So, I guess for right now, I'm almost done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of this coolant. And there it is. Yeah, I'm gonna clean that up, but I'm gonna get rid of this coolant first. 
and then on the next part i guess i'll get to i'm gonna clean this up too oh man that's nasty i'm gonna clean that up and that's gonna be it probably for right now so yeah it's looking good maybe i should i'm thinking maybe i should just clean this up right now while this coolant's under here because that coolant looks like it's not <laughs> it looks like it's not going back in the car no reason to really hold on to it you know if i come if i get some good coolant coming out I'll save it sometimes, but that looks like nasty. I probably need to get more carb clean. Definitely probably need to. I kind of just want to see if it makes any type of difference. Well, that doesn't work at all, does it? Thank you. And this one I'm having to hold straight up. That's some been on there a long time type dirt. I think this shirt's about about been about had it. I don't want to lose this. Clean that up just a little bit. I feel like I have some extras of those from all my pick and pull, all my times at pick and pull. But I probably wouldn't be able to find it, so I'm trying not to lose anything. I don't know how much I'm gonna clean this up, actually, it's pretty dirty. Like, I might buy a new timing cover gasket, but I'm probably not gonna use it. I'm just gonna buy the whole set. I don't really wanna mess with If I don't have to mess with it, I don't really want to. And I probably need to get like some carb clean because it sucks. So I'm like out of carb clean. Oh well. Let's see if this cleans it any better. I don't really feel like I don't feel like the this seal right here could be leaking but i don't feel like either of them were leaking i think the one that was leaking i feel like the one that was leaking was the uh missing o-rings it looked like it had fresh oil around it so if you were really like me and cheap you could probably put this back together just slapping some o-rings on it uh. yeah i'm gonna have to get a better i need more carb clean and yeah But that is what is going on. We are too far to turn back now. Let's look at this. Another did. Gotta hold that can upright. All right, this that's annoying. All right, three cans. Seen better days. All right, so that looks pretty good for right now. Yeah, I'll put my money on this what's leaking because I see a lot of fresh oil right here there. It could also be from around there. So for the price of the kit, which is like $10, $15, something like that, I'm gonna get a Phil Pro one. It comes with both these O-rings it comes with it comes with this right here and it comes with this one right here it comes with the gasket 
it comes with these water pump gaskets and it comes with i think that's it oh it comes with the bottom one too but i don't think anyone's changing that one i'm not that's going that's a step too far for me there was one of these in pick and pull i wanted to get it but now i'm kind of glad i didn't because it would have been too hard to change it to get it off and put this one on then i'll have i would have had to reorder the gasket anyway so this right here you just pry out with a screwdriver and this one you just pry out with some channel locks i'm not going to do that part right at the moment i'm going to contemplate what i am doing i think my next move is going on to rock auto and buying that kit and then i'm gonna go on ebay and i'm gonna buy the installation tool for this top one right here you can also use this i think i'm gonna i'm gonna do some research because if i don't have to buy something i'm not going to you gotta like put it over you put it over and you make sure that both rubber pieces are face outward i believe and then you just pound it in or right, we're gonna do that one I want to clean this up. Yeah, I mean it's probably it. Yeah, that's that's leaking. You guys probably can't see it. Let me try to get in here. That's probably leaking though. See how I'm up and down with it? You can see like you can see a leak. I don't know if you can, but you can see it. So that one's got to go. I'm gonna change that one. If that bottom one's leaking, then we're just gonna deal with it. This is gonna be the way the cookie crumbles. All right, hopefully this has a direction on it. Keep put it anyway. I will double check. <clears throat> I'll double check that. I'll probably just flipped it around. But I have it on camera. All right, that looks good until I get some brake clean. Yeah, my next task is going to be messing with this look how nasty that is let's use what we got left here oh man preserved look how nice and preserved this is. <laughs> this is you see i just went from an old one to a new one like that what like that that was on there thick nasty that might just be the way to go. So, for as long as I stalled doing that job, that was like, took way too, that was way too quick. That was way too fast for like, as long as I've been stalling to do this. But this isn't the hard part though. I mean, none of it's really the hard part. It's just kind of annoying. It's like, how much stuff do I gotta do? You would like to just buy one of these and slap it on there. That's not the case. You can't just buy. I mean, I wouldn't recommend buying an aftermarket one of these and then trying to put it on and having your car be the same car that it was. You really gotta, if you buy one of these aftermarket ones, you're gonna have to open it up. We're gonna have to get inside this one for sure. All right, so I think I'm gonna do that next. My glove is broken here, and I'm getting, I'm pretty dirty. Probably switch gloves and, I don't know, might go to the store and grab some brake clean, I mean carb clean, or maybe I'll look for some motor cleaner that's around here somewhere. You know how I like to reuse things or use all of things. Pretty good though, all right, there you go. Next, we're going to be getting into this. And before I want to open it, I just want to clean it up as good as I can. because I know it's going to be nasty on the inside, but hopefully it's not too bad. I would like to reuse the sensor that's in there and everything that's in there. I want to just spray it off, clean it off, let it dry. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's what I'm hoping. And then put it back on and run the car without the water pump on there. I'm gonna run the car without the water pump on there and just see. It, is it is it is it uh, ticking? It had a tick before, so I'm definitely gonna have to get some 
plug wires as well because these ones look original and these ones look replaced one of those looks broken i'm not sure though i'm gonna have to investigate that as well all right cool there it is first part one removing i mean part one part two part whatever removing the water pump removing the optus spark in a lot of real life applications you probably would have to have a puller to remove this balancer but you might get lucky your car might like you i don't know i don't still don't know if this one does or not and the water pump i mean this water pump was working still so like yeah i could reuse it i should just put a new one on there i probably will but i could also just paint it black and no one would ever know <laughs> anyway who knows what i'll do all right there you are i'll be back hello cat all right there he is make sure you clean up make sure you clean up what i'm about to do right now i'll move that coolant and i'm about to pour it in some buckets so animals don't get to it because remember y'all that's not good for them oh man i gotta put my dirty hands in my van i need this is what i need some sort of funnel action all right so here we are i got the funnel to make sure the cat hey cat doesn't drink oh he's he was trying to drink that's why i gotta get this stuff out of here he wasn't touching the coolant, but he was touching his water, and who knows, this stuff is kind of sweet smelling. Try to get most of it in there at least. It's not the best. Doesn't have the best lip on it for pouring, but it was good to catch all of it. So definitely make sure you do this. Do not leave this stuff out. It's toxic for animals. So do it, clean it up right away. Don't leave the bucket out there overnight or anything. I didn't have much coolant in my car, did I? Well, there's still some in the engine, but I think it was low. Well, I shouldn't have done that. Huh? one down this is not gonna make a full but it will get disposed of properly at the recycling center that is a lot of nasty rust from probably my engine water pump radiator who knows it looked like it could have been a bigger mix of coolant in there so all right there's that more junk all right i just want to make sure that you guys clean up your coolant also so we're not forgetting things i could just put this back in now You guys can see or not because I sure can't. And I keep hitting my GoPro. Whoa, I might have to get some type of light in here. 
it's got a it only goes in one way and I got it you might have to look up close at it to make sure but it only goes in one way because it's got the little whatever you want to call it tab all right so that should be done leaking more random drops on my face and it's all cleaned up under here as much as it can be uh, like i need some more car clean i'm gonna clean all these up on the wire brush all right i'll be back all right i pulled out a plug it looks all right you know i don't have to replace it but i might buy some new ones so who knows so there's that i am gonna clean up these bolts probably should get more than one bag they're pretty much the same except for these little side ones i just want to well, I know where everything goes pretty much. Let me just go clean it up. So you might not have to watch all of this, but I'll clean these couple up right here. Put some glass, put some good glasses on one time. perfect but you know you can clean it as good as you want I'll make sure I get all the get all the threads clean get the top clean too that I touch it this is the part where you get carried away because you don't have any I'm not working on the car right now so I mean, I am working on it. This is this counts, but you could really clean these up more than they needed to be, probably. I'm gonna clean these threads off for sure. It's got a little bit of gunk in it from probably RTV or some type of silicone or some, you know, gasket sealer. It has to go through the water pump. They don't have to be that, they don't have to be all the way super clean, but you know, do what you want. It'll make it a lot easier to put the car back together when it's all clean, everything's clean. Nasty. Yep, watch out for that. Sometimes I like to hold it with like a, in a vice grip or something, you know. That's why you wanna wear glasses just in case anything goes flying off. All right. 
Like, you really don't even have to do that. But it, I'm going to. It makes it. It makes everything much happier. So, I, uh, all right, there those go right there. I'm gonna keep cleaning. These ones don't look that bad. I'll probably hit them all up. Definitely these water pump ones I'm gonna hit all up. So I don't think everyone needs to see all that, but that's what's going on. I'm gonna clean up. Clean up the bolts. And I'll be back. <laughs> 